Well, we're back from uh, loading hay. Well, we loaded quite a while ago. Got the 9600 pulled out. Uh, the guys are greasing the TRs. Uh, we have, we're going to be doing wheat, so I just wanted to show some people what we have to do to bale straw. And as much as I like the 9600s, uh, they are a pain in the ass to set up to drop straw. So first thing we got to do is loosen this tightener up here, which I already did. And it loosens this double belt that runs the chopper. And then what we do is I got my crescent wrench here. Is you take this. Oh, take that spring out. Pull it down. I should have a hammer. There she's loose now. And put it there. Go to the other side, do the same thing. This one's pretty loose. Now we take a wrench, and this deal here has got like a little gear, and there's you can see the little holes which it runs on a like a little track here. So now that you got it, you turn it and it slides back. slides the chopper out of the way. Now I have to line it up with those holes right there. So I got a ways to go yet. It's actually moving quite nice. Oh okay, where are we? A little more. Now get this back up. And it's gonna go back a bit. He's locked in place but one thing I did forget to do is the first thing I was supposed to do was drop these and drop that now I'm gonna do it underneath I guess I could put it back now I'll do it there anyway then when you take this belt off that loosened up now you put a, a single belt on because the chopper still for some reason has to run because it could get plugged up a little bit so I put the single belt on this pulley and it just runs it so any kind of straw that falls in we'll just uh we'll just uh ch chop out or whatever the, the odd straw falls in so this takes me about 40 minutes by the time i put the other belt do that take that back off and uh tighten that spring back up now we'll go to the trs new holland's and we'll show you the difference so sean and Lori are uh greasing and oiling chains and that I'm just gonna go over here and show you how we uh, we change this how we change the TRs to, to drop straw right Sean it's pretty pretty big difference between the two okay so you can see the choppers on here and uh, you don't have to move anything nothing like that you just go under here into the dark well, I'll show you. There's a little pin right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that pin. And this kind of sucks sometimes because there's a lot of chaff in there. Kind of rust it a little bit. So I got the, the pin out. Now you can see the door is coming down. So I'm just gonna let it fall and run away. Oh my god. A oh. little bit of dust from there. Sean ran away. I got her. Whew. Knew that was gonna happen. I should have ran out the left side. But anyway, that's all you do. So now the door is closed and uh, you can see the straw hits the door and comes down a little bit of junk out there should have cleaned that off but uh, yeah that's about it 
Yeah, big difference between the TR and uh, John Deere's for drop and strive. Anyway, we're gonna go grease, finish greasing these and uh, go take a sample. Okay, well, I'm finally done. Took exactly 40 minutes. Uh, I did go and help uh, the guys over there with the other combine for a sec, but yeah, got the got the back down, the single belt installed and tightened, and yes, tightened, tightened the spring, and it's ready to go to drop straw. Now, some might say that the TR combine might uh, be different because it's rotary. Well, our older TX New Holland combine had walkers. And all he did was turn a big handle from this way to drop straw, that way to chop. It was pretty simple. Uh, I don't know what John Deere was thinking when they designed that, but I guess uh, not too many. Uh, I guess they thought not many people would be dropping straw, wheat straw, or barley straw to bale with John Deere combines. But anyway, that's the way it is. It's a good thing I only have to do it once, not go back and forth. So bad thing is uh, is this combine has the best draw coming from it because it's conventional not rotary so anyway now's the time to grease well we uh, finished off greasing the combines that's the only thing that had to be done was grease and changed over to uh, dropping straw the John Deere's done fueled up everything's done and uh, the wheat was testing 20 and the other wheat was testing 17 so we're gonna go tomorrow it's supposed to be another not bad of a day tomorrow and uh, we'll probably end up drying so right now we're just uh, servicing trucks doing some more grease on them Sean is uh, the grease pumper Right, Sean? Right, Suki? Suki's gonna steal those gloves. Yeah. We got the <clears throat> freight liner hooked up to the liner. All greased up. Good, good. And yeah, we'll be ready to go tomorrow. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more and uh, leave your comments. See you later.